Hello, my name is Inigo Belandal, and I've been part of the PALS and Spectrum program from 1st to 6th grade. I will show how I answered and my thought process behind solving Math Content Part 1. Okay, first we need to understand the statement of the problem. Okay, it says, or it states, it, Jeremy hiked 12 miles in 240 minutes and he hiked at a constant rate of speed. First, let's understand what the rate of speed is. Speed means distance over time, and it is constant, which means it will not change. It will not go, become bigger or slow, or become um, lower, which means it will not speed up or slow down, okay? Now, let's plug in our, um, our unit of measurement. We are told to, we are already told that he had 12 miles, our distance, for distance, and 240 minutes for time. Now, to make this easier for us, we can simplify this rate of speed. So let's simplify the rate of speed. And first, let's see how much times 12 can fit into 240. It can fit into 240 20 times. So one mile in 20 minutes. Okay, now let's, let's look at the problem. The problem we are told is that how long it took Jeremy to hike four miles. Now we need to convert this into four miles. Now we don't know the minutes yet. So we can replace the, the minutes for a variable, x. X minutes. Now, already mentally, I can see that this 20 is going to be 80. But mathematically, we have to prove that this will be 80. So, we, to find this, we can, we can carry over the 1. I'm sorry, we can carry over the 4. We can carry over the, the 4. Okay. Multiply and... Multiply it by 20, which is simple, um, simple algebra. Now, we just need to solve this. This is 80. X is equal to 80, which means is equal to 4 over 80 minutes. Okay, now we want to justify this with maybe a graph, okay? I'm going to use a line graph. Okay, now that we have our graph drawn, we can see because we can write a straight line because we are told that it is a constant rate of speed. If this goes up, that means it goes faster. If it goes down, that means it goes slower. But because it's a constant rate of speed, it's going to keep going. It's not going to slow down or speed up. Okay, knowing that he's going one mile in 20 minutes, we can line this up. One mile in 20 minutes. Now, we can write this down again, two, two, three, four, for the miles. Okay, and with, and now we can see that because it's in a straight line, 40 minutes goes to two minutes, and it goes to two miles, 60 minutes goes to three miles, and 80 minutes goes to four miles. <laughs>